In this video I'm looking at this problem here of finding the total surface area of this below pyramid. Now there is no straightforward rule that anybody's worked out for finding a pyramid but we can easily develop one because the total surface area of any three-dimensional shape is the sum of the areas of every single surface. So if we look at this pyramid here we have the total surface area for this pyramid would be the area of the square base so it would be the area of a square plus we'd have four of these triangles here because each si sloping side is exactly the same so we would have four of the area of the triangle so we need to find the area of one of these squares, well the area of the base and the area of one of these triangles and then we can find out the area of the pyramid. So let's start with the square because it's going to be nice and easy. So the area of the square is side squared. So we have 6 squared which is 36 centimeters squared. So the area of our square base is 36 centimeters squared. So now we can have a look at finding the area of our triangle. Now if we draw a little picture of our triangle, we have this length here is 6 centimeters. And we have these two sides are being the same because they touch each other around the pyramids and that's going to be 5 centimeters. So what we need to do is find the area of this triangle here. Now the area rule that most people know is the area of a triangle is base times height. But the base would be 6 centimeters for our triangle but our height would be this line coming down here. Which we don't have. So what we need to do is use Heron's formula for this one. Now Heron's formula states that we have a working variable called s which is half of the three sides added together, so half a plus b plus c. And then we then get the area of our triangle by finding the square root of that working variable s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. So finding the difference between s and each side, multiplying them together and multiplying by s at the end. So let's first work out our s. So s is going to be one half of a plus b plus c, so we have 6 plus 5 plus 5. So s is going to be one half of 16, so s is going to be 8. So now we can go into the Heron's rule and find our area which states that we're going to have 8 times 8 minus one of the sides, let's go 6 times 8 minus, oops this should be an 8 down here, minus another one of the sides which is 5 times S minus the others, the last side, which is minus 5. So the area of our triangle is going to be the square root of 8 times 8 minus 6 is 2, times 8 minus 5 is 3, times 8 minus 5 is 3. So the area of our triangle is going to be the square root of 8 times two times, well three times three is nine times two is eighteen and so we have that the area of our triangle is going to be the square root of eight times eighteen is a hundred and forty four and that gives us the area of our triangle is twelve centimeters squared. So now we can go back to our air, total surface area of our pyramid and finally work out what our area is. The total surface area is going to be 36, 36 and then we're going to add on four lots of the area of our triangle which we found out to be 
12 centimeters squared, so we're going to have four lots of 12. So that's going to give us 36 plus 4 times 12 is 48. So the total surface area of our pyramid is 70, 80, 4 centimeters squared.